Hello world, what is up? I'm the Game Groom. Welcome back to another episode of Urban Dead. It has been a while since my last Urban Dead video, over a week. I'm so sorry about the delay. Lots of things and sickness, it's no good. Watch my uh, the long dark video tonight for more information if you actually care. You shouldn't, but if you do, that's where it'll be. Um, since it's been a while, these videos are up from before, so this is from February 29th. Uh, this gameplay and a huge zombie horde moved through Locket side apparently and uh, it was actually called on the comments of the last video and yeah I was a victim they murdered and pillaged everything through the, in their path and, and they got me so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna head on over to Locket side and we're gonna check out our revive points there's Butler Avenue there beside the Thompson Mall and there's also Kendall Road over here by the Percy building which is a necrotech building so we're just gonna go peek over whoop, we're dead hold on stand up there we go and we're gonna go peek over the butler avenue revive point see how it's looking south of thompson mall and thompson mall has fallen and there's a lot of zombies here so uh well three's not really a lot but the fact that thompson mall has fallen there's probably a ton of zombies in there maybe that are gonna want revives. So we're gonna head over to Kendall Row, and the Percy building still has power. So that's where people are gonna be getting their syringes. They'll hop out, revive us here. So this is where we're gonna chill. So we're just gonna, you know, tell Cecil Drake, rah, you know, maybe, maybe we'll say mer. Anyways, we wanna revive. And that's it for this episode. Well, not actually this episode. I was told that maybe I should be combining my episode. And since this was such a boring episode, I'm going to give you another one. So let me just do a little magic here. Boo! Full action points by the magic of editing. Oh, look at that. El Dragon extracted a DNA sample from you and you revived me with a Necrotech syringe. So we are back to life and we are back on our feet. So let's stand up and let's get this party rolling now. We need to kill some zombies. Uh, this is the revive point, so I'm not gonna kill zombies here, man. That's that's something I'm not willing to do. So we're gonna come over here to the police station. These zombies, they're free game, man. So we're gonna try to, we're gonna test out. No, we're gonna look for the junkyard. Oh, we gotta we gotta be smart. You know, we gotta have a new place to hide. So we, here we see this junkyard is extremely heavily barricaded and the Grandin Police Department is ruined. So we can get in there and head on over to the junkyard. There's no zombies in here. That's all good. So we just need to... Now we have an escape plan. So we don't run out of AP out on the street. So we're going to go and we are going to shotgun this zombie. Hopefully get some good stuff. Maybe a little damage. Nothing. All right. We'll try it again. So with a shotgun, we have so many shotgun shells, but we only have one shotgun. Oh, there they got rotten flesh. That's no good. We're going to try a different zombie. Up here in Gilpin Row. How about this guy? So, we have so many shotgun shells. So each each damage you do with a shotgun does 10 damage, which is 10 experience points, which is great. However, it essentially takes four actions, two actions to do one shot. You have to reload and shoot, reload and shoot. Now I'm gonna be shooting, shooting, reload, reload, shoot, shoot, reload, reload. But hopefully, there we go. Oh, and they don't have any damage reduction, so we're getting our full 10 experience. We're just gonna unload on this little zombie. Here we go. Come on. All the shotgun shells. Now, we did lose 10 AP from standing up uh, after being dead, so we're not as efficient as if we had started from scratch, but hey, we're still alive. Not gonna question it. So, this is just a lot of shotgunning. We are up to 56 experience points. You can see that now that we at least have that 30%, the experience points are coming not super fast, but faster. It's, it's very enjoyable. We Come on, we need a little luck. So, I'm not sure what we're going for next, and I don't make that decision. I haven't made that decision yet now. Uh, we, I have up... Uh, I have the ability to go to advanced firearms, advanced pistol training, which will give us a 50% chance to hit with the pistol, or... Um, possibly diagnosis, which allows us to start using first aid kits for experience as well, because they're pretty good too. And we're just not getting much luck. We got we got a couple another hit in, but we want to see. Yeah, we got four action points left. Three is the bare minimum to get in. So we enter Grandin Place, and we're gonna head over to the junkyard, which we know is extremely heavily barricaded because of our check. 
And that's going to be it for today. So thank you for watching. I am the Game Guru signing off. Have a good one. See you next time.